Sikkim. Nestled in northeastern India, it is renowned for its pristine landscapes, including lush green fields and awe-inspiring Himalayan vistas. Located 25 kilometers south of Gangtok, East Pakyong is a district known for its stunning natural beauty. However, it also faces challenges such as flash floods and landslides, which are integral considerations for our project. Constructing a community resident shelter adjacent to Pakyong Airport. The site spans 44,000 square meters and is, is accessible via two roads, with a steep incline of nearly 100 meters. Sikkim falls under the cold climatic region under ECBC and receives an annual rainfall of about 2739 mm. Built is in the form of two intersecting hexagons, following the natural topography in, in order to minimize cut and fill. There are central common spaces, atrium, and public plaza in each block. The entrance to the site and through the atrium, which allows access to both wellness block and residential block, making circulation easy. The community resident shelter design focuses on creating a multifunctional space capable of withstanding various disasters while serving as a hub for community activities. Integrating sustainable materials and energy-efficient systems, the shelter provides a safe haven during emergencies while minimizing en environmental impact. Flexible layout and adaptable features ensure usability for diverse needs, from emergency housing to community gatherings. Incorporating natural light and ventilation enhances comfort and reduces reliance on external resources. The design prioritizes accessibility and inclusivity, accommodating individuals with different abilities. Through collaborative planning and community engagement, this shelter fosters resilience, cohesion, and empowerment within the community. The legend shows how spaces will be utilized in the times of disasters, as food courts, medical facilities, and shelter rooms. The plan shows how spaces are in use during the general usage days as a wellness center, and the plan below is a depiction of how spaces convert themselves into shelter rooms to provide a safe place for people in the time of disaster. The graphic here shows how furniture is innovated in a way which can be folded and can be used as bunk beds in the time of disaster. Foldable furniture offers a versatile solution for modern living spaces, seamlessly blending functionality with space saving design. Envelope optimization was done by optimizing the glazing, wall, and roof envelope. Multiple envelopes were simulated using Design Builder and envelopes having suitable U values as per Super ECBC standards, as well as locally available materials were chosen to reduce heat loss by up to 73.2 percent. We have thus achieved EPI value of 48 kilowatt hours per square meters, which is close to our targeted EPI value, which was 44 kilowatt hour per square meters. We calculated the lux values to see the illuminance level being achieved inside the building. The second image shows the radiation map of the entire build form and the amount of solar exposure the building receives. The left exploded diagram shows the external wall building material, which is bamboo reinforced hempcrete, and the right one shows the internal wall dry partition material, which is honeycomb core. Here, water cycle diagram shows the flow of water and how rain for rainwater harvesting is being done to fulfill water needs. The primary conditioning of the building is done through radiant floor heating. Systems are designed to provide comfortable and efficient heating by radiating heat upward from the floor surface. The cost of the proposed case is higher than the baseline estimates due to added cost of installation to reduce the embodied energy such as paper, honeycomb, bamboo, hempcrete, alternative materials, and hybrid construction. 